Hey students, so today I'm going to give a tutorial on how to detune your guitar to the tuning required to play The Rain Song by Led Zeppelin. There's quite a lot of detuning here, so I'm going to show you how to go from standard tuning to the Rain Song tuning and how to tune your guitar back so you don't get stuck there. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is detune your low E string down to a D, like you would if you were going to drop D tuning. Many of you have done this before, but in case you haven't, you're going to get this note to sound the same as the third string, the D string right there, except an octave lower. So you're going to loosen the string tension by turning it that way until the string goes down. sound an octave apart, right? So you were here, you're going. Okay, so now we've got a D here, all right? Now the second string, which is an A, is gonna go down to a G. That's the same distance down as your low string just went, okay? So in order to do that, you just make this string, your A string, match the fourth string, which is that one, the G string. So it's gonna sound like this, except an octave lower. So you'll notice this string needs to go down the same distance, this A string. So you have your G that you're tuning to and the A goes down. See, now they're an octave apart. So now we've got two Ds and two G's, right? Now, the next string, which is the third string, this is your D string, is going to go down a step also. It's the same distance down as the other two strings went. So this string is going to go down to a C. Now, how do you get a C? Well, there's two ways to do it. You can think of the distance you went with the other strings and go like this. Here's the D. It goes down, down to a C, which is there. But... If you don't want to do it that way, the other way to do it is to play the fifth fret, the fifth fret of the A string. That's the second string. It's actually now a G, but anyways, we're going to call it the A string. Play the fifth fret, and the D string should be that note. So you go like this until they match. Just about the same. So now we have D, G, C. Okay, those are the ones we've just down-tuned all three of these strings by a step, right? They all went down the same amount. Okay. And we have the next string, which is the fourth string, which is a G, which does not change. You don't need to detune this one. So that's right there. Okay, now the fifth string, which is the B string, is going to go up, actually, to a C. Now, if you were paying attention, you know that the third string was tuned to a C. So we're going to take the third string right here, that C we just made, and we're going to make this B string, the fifth string, sound the same. And in order to do that, we need to tune it higher. So tighten the string by just half a step. So it goes like this. There it is. Now they match each other. All right, one more to go. That's the final string, which is this E string here, which is going to be a D. So it's going to be the same as this low one here, except two octaves higher. So you go. Now we have this sort of modified open C tuning and the rain song will sound beautiful. So if that's all you need to know, you can stop the video here. I'll really quickly show you how to bring the guitar back to where it was now. Okay, so here's how we get back to standard tuning. Now, I'd recommend you just use a tuner. This would be easier, but if you want to do it by ear, we can do that too. So the first thing we need to do is get both our D strings, our lowest and highest string, back to E. So how do you do that? Well, here's the easiest way. Start out by playing the second fret it's a little flat. The second fret of the highest string, and you're gonna make that match it by two octaves. 
So you go. Hey, there we go. All right, so that's how that goes. Now we need to get this string, the second string, back to an A, and all you gotta do is play the second fret of the fourth string, and then this will just be tuned up, and it's an octave lower. All right, now you need to get this string, the third string, back to a D, and your highest string is a D, right? So you just make those match by an octave, Close enough, there we go. Then your G stays the same. It's a little loud, but that's relative. There we go. And now your B string, remember that's a C, so we gotta tune it down. So the way you can do that is to tune it down like that, and that should match the fourth fret of your fourth string. go. Fourth fret of the fourth string makes the fifth string. And then finally we got to bring our top string back to E which will match the bottom string. Okay it's a little out of tune right now. You'll probably have to go through and do every note again but that's basically how it goes and um, feel free to text me back if you have any questions.